travel since I last spoke to you. It looks like uh, travelling is going to be allowed from June the 1st in New South Wales. So that's good news. But I just wonder whether some of these towns in the country areas that are virus free are going to welcome caravanners and travellers, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I've noticed, um, particularly on Wikicam, so a lot of the councils are now uh, making caravans and motorhomes and the like uh, self-contained. Most um, new caravans are self-contained anyway, they have their own en suite and showers. But it's uh, not practical, my old thing here, <laughs> to put in a holding tank underneath. There's no room for a start and uh, you've got to consider the weight. In my opinion though, shower water and washing water is fine for your lawns. Uh, you can run it around trees, it, 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 it's, it's quite safe. But I must say that um, your sink discharge, your washing up water, where it could contain bits of food and oil and, and other things, it may not be a good idea to discharge that onto the lawn. So I've had a look into uh, portable holding tanks, uh, which I have now installed. And uh, I'd like to run you through uh, what I've done to try and uh, comply with these council requirements to make my van uh, self-contained. This is a portable 40 litre water tank I picked up on eBay. The tank has uh, three inlets. Uh, this is two at this end, one small one there, and the other larger one just there. And at the other end, there's a small, another small inlet. So it's got plenty of areas to put uh, pipes into. And this large one here is just for cleaning and washing out and that sort of thing. Now also the, uh, the tank comes with wheels, so it makes it ultra portable with a handle there, so when you want to move it around, away you go. This is the uh, bottom of my shower, my outside shower. It already had a hole uh, drilled through it. I just had to uh, match it up with some uh, PVC piping so as to run it to the side of the floor of the shower. This is the floor of the shower folded down on its legs. I've shown you in a previous video uh, how the tent's set up on this and that's the outlet from the wastewater. Now the tank you just uh, move up to the wastewater section. I'll turn it around the right way and that might help. And there we are. Now I've just got a flexible hose that um, I run off the uh, shower. I'll show you here. Uh, I'll put the, uh, I'll try the correct end. That just pushes in there and the hose simply goes into the tank. And there we have it. The wastewater from the shower goes into the tank. Once you've had your shower, you simply put the lid back on the tank, pick it up and walk it down to the other end of the caravan. Now all we need to do now is connect another flexible hose to the sink outlet, run that under the A-frame there, bring the tank up to the A-frame, remove the lid, Place the hose from the sink into the tank and there you have it. Now that tank can stay there for the rest of the time because uh, you only have a shower generally once a day. RV friendly towns have dump points where you can empty your grey water tanks. 40 litres can be heavy so I would suggest that uh, you'd empty your tank every couple of days for me. That would be fine, it would probably hold around 25 litres of water which is quite manageable and easy to lift into the back of the car and take up to empty. Well thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, I'm sitting in my caravan at the moment. It's turned quite cold down here and uh, you can probably hear the diesel heater in the background. I'm giving it a bit of a test run. So hopefully uh, I'll be on the road again soon and uh, be able to send you some videos of various places around the state. But until then, cheerio!